Got the training this afternoon. One of my best mates decided to roll in and join me for the last session of Coburg TV. Jake Sugar Anderson, welcome back. Yeah, it's good to be back, mate. I've actually been back a couple of weeks now. You just haven't spoken to me. Do you want to tell the fans and uh, all the viewers out there I mean, what, what happened with you this season? Uh, I just did a bad ankle injury, tore some ligaments in my ankle, so Germo sent me to Bali to recover, and uh, it was good trip on the club. Thanks. Yeah, we, uh, obviously, surgery post, you, you, that's in three weeks, is it, yeah. you booked in? Yeah, three weeks. Yeah. So just going to uh, push through the pain this week and hopefully drag the development squad over the line. Good news, good to have you back. We wish you all the best from our KB TV headquarters Thanks, and the viewers. Now, tonight's episode, something special, what have we got? Uh, look, tonight, what are we rolling with? We're going to have, um, just get around to a few boys and just see who they think is going to win the BNF. And everyone's sort of favourite one, who they think is going to get the least votes at the club. That's always my favourite, you always have a giggle with that. Something special is going to happen too on, on tonight's episode, but at the end of it, so stay tuned. We've got Peter German, coach, yeah. doing the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, so something something good. It's a good initiative by him and uh, Lizzy, obviously, to come up with it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's going to be good. Hopefully it gets around the VFL a bit more and we can uh, raise some money. Beautiful. Let's join us. Who am I going to get? Who am I going to get? Oh, no, not him. Oh, Clarky! Look at what I've into! How you going, mate? I'm good, Danny. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. What's 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 the process? What are you doing here? I'm um, just putting my shoes on, getting ready for a bit of a gym sesh. But um, yeah, just came out to enjoy the sunlight for a little bit. Nah, good on you. Good on you. Now, quick question. Best and Ferris, obviously, is coming up in the three or four weeks. Yeah. Uh, who's going to poll the least votes? Least votes. Bit of a tough one. Um, probably going to have to go with Daniel Cooper. A um, bit of inconsistency over the year. Um, yeah, he won't be happy with me saying it, but yeah, I honestly believe he will. So, Steph, and, and your, your favourite to win the best and fairest? Um, I think it's got to be Diddy or Sadi. They've both had really good years, so yeah, either one of them will be a good winner. Good. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your time. A hey. couple of quick questions. Um, who's going to win the BNF this year, senior BNF? Um, I like to see Adam Saab winning. He's had a good year. He has indeed. Uh, development BNF? Um, always difficult this one because obviously if you're performing you usually come up pretty quickly and we've had a lot of guys um, debut. So uh, someone that's been pretty consistent uh, in the development. Steve Goldings um, was, was very good early. Tatino's played a fair bit of uh, development footy and, and has been good. Um, so probably between those two, probably one of the main on boards. Maybe Fab as well might sneak in there. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Now, um, these are the questions that all the viewers like most. Um, who's going to get the least votes in the senior BNF? Probably myself, I would have thought. <laughs> if I'd come out for a horrid year, I don't think I'll be featuring much at all, I wouldn't have thought. I think you're being pretty tough on yourself there, mate. And uh, development? Um, probably Charlie Williams, seeing he's, I think he's played a game. Probably tough to pile. Yeah. Did he play early? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll just move on from that. Thanks, mate. <laughs> just coming into the gym here. We've got uh, City on his phone. Team, team No No. We've just, just caught one of the Brilliant. leadership. Yeah, just yeah. mental stuff. What's going on here, mate? All, got all the boys uh, working on their programs. Yeah, just set up Morgs with his new program. He's on debut this week, so. Yeah. It's very. Yeah, good to see him working hard still. He's not resting on his laurels. Look, last, last session, and that's why he's got the call up. It's very good. Who's working hard in here, mate? Oh, I think Libra over there is doing a bit. I don't know, his pipes are doing a bit. <laughs> he will be loving this camera shot. Yeah, I'd be pretty happy with it too. Yeah, very good. Thanks, mate. Morgs, debut. Oh, yeah, mate. Good, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. Just, uh, just tell the viewers how you're feeling, mate. You've got the call up. You've been in some good touch. It's probably a few weeks overdue, if you ask me, Germo, but uh, it's good to have you in on the team, mate. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. Um, Better late than never, I guess, so although it's the last game, good to get a chance this year. Uh, look, uh, hopefully you'll really light it up, mate. Where do you think you'll be starting? Um, I've been playing everywhere lately in the two, so pretty much could be anywhere, but I'd say down back to start. You look very comfortable down there, mate. Congratulations, all the best. Thanks, Shooks. Hey, calm. <laughs> mate, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Just finished work, I can see. Yeah, yeah, just um, just got off the hard down the tools, mate. Ah, good on you, good to have you. You're, you look... You're, Come on, well. Thanks, mate. Couldn't you trade the outfit? Quick question. Yep. Best and first. Who's going to poll the least votes? Both twos 
and seniors. The least votes. Joe Robinson, development for sure. He um, he talks himself up, but backmen don't win best and fairest, mate. Um, seniors. Can I can I pick a player who has played minimum games, like one game, or does that to be a player who's played a full season? Um, it's, it's all entirely up to you. Full season. Um, I'm gonna have to go. With, you can say me. No, you haven't played a full season, but mate. Um, <laughs> Backman, I'm gonna go with Backman again. I'm gonna say <laughs> Robert Taylor. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Robber. As you can see, what's going on here? We've got Charlie Vanderbilt. Let's have a look at his vision. Charlie, what are you? Charlie, you want to talk us through what you're doing here? Um, I'm just recapping my season, just picking up on the things I made mistakes on and what I did well. You can only say that's that's a game versus Williamstown, obviously. Yeah, we didn't go too well against that game, but so there's obviously a lot of things to. Uh, so we'll see, can you talk us through this room? And obviously, we've got the Apple Max and folks can come in here and review their game. I'll take you through it actually, that's alright, don't stress. But obviously, yeah, so we've got Tommy Ellard, he's having a look at his vision from the weekend. We've got Steve Golding, he's just about to log on. So basically, folks come in here, they'll uh, come in on Monday morning, review their game, sit down with their coaches, and go through their tapes. I mean, you've got your opposition. Uh, videos as well, so I'll we'll find out who we're going to play against on the weekend. Yeah, here with the uh, my boy, my favourite boy at the moment, Michael Tang. How you going, mate? Good, thank you. How are you? You want to tell the viewers out there how old you are? Seventeen. And how many senior games you played this year? Uh, fifth one coming up, I think. He's, he's doing well. He's doing well, the bloke. And now, obviously, you go to Gladstone Park Secondary College. Yeah. What's your role over there? Uh, school captain over there. So. <laughs> bloke, bloke. Living all life at the moment. School captain. Played five senior games at age of 17. You, you, mate, you're doing well. You're doing well. Now, quick question. From what you, from what you can see, who's going to pull the least votes in the seniors? Uh, probably you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, one. mate. Thank you very much. Good on you. <laughs> As part of the Cobra Football Club, we decided to donate some money to the motor neuron disease. And as you can see, over the past couple of weeks, all over Facebook, all over the world, people have been doing the hashtag Ice Park Challenge. Now, We've got Peter German, our coach, he's right behind me. He's going to be attending and he's going to be doing it. Let's go see what he has to do. No, I think it's a, uh, it's a great cause. Um, obviously highlighted now with, uh, with them and with, um, yeah, with, uh, with Neil Danaher. And uh, I had a good friend of mine over in Perth, um, Kerry Coates, who, uh, who died of the disease about 10 years ago. And I remember Ken Judge did a, uh, a fundraiser. He walked all, he worked from walked from Perth all the way down to uh, Albany. So it was uh, was a great um, was a great effort by him. And uh, so now I guess it's my turn, is it? Yeah, that's it, mate. Who are you going to nominate? Who am I going to nominate? I wouldn't say you, Danny, but uh, maybe if if um, if the mullet Gary Ayres, the two-time Norm Smith medalist, and Four day, five night, and whatever they, whatever else he did, and and VFL Premiership uh, coach. I reckon uh, if Ezzy can don don the uh, the ice over the mullet, I reckon it'll look really good. I reckon that'll be a special one. There's one for you, mate. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you.